Hello everybody, uh, this is Vinny Tartamella, and I'm going to do another master class. Uh, this one might be shorter than others, but we'll see. Um, I had a live stream last night, and somebody asked me about um, a breakdown of the human knee, so I thought I would cover that kind of quick today. Uh, I did a quick drawing, or a couple of them rather, to, uh, to kind of go over this. So uh, the thing you got to keep in mind with the knee is... Uh, the, the skeletal structure of the knee. So I did break it down here. Um, I'm going to grab a lighter color to kind of show you. But um, you got to remember with the knee that we have the patella, the kneecap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is crucial in the shape of the knee. So uh, it's, it's the, the main bone from the upper leg and then the one from the bottom that's going to make up everything here. So, uh, again, we got we to gotta keep all this in mind and the kind of shape of it. So this bone, it kind of protrudes a little bit, the one that goes straight to the shin. So, uh, for an example, like... Over here we have the kneecap. So this is the belt leg and this is what it's going to look like. Then we have that, that bone that kind of makes up more of that structure of the knee. That's why sometimes it gets, it gets tricky when we're, when we're looking um, in different ways. And especially if somebody is, if they're heavy or if they are in really, really great shape, um, things are going to look a little bit different with how the muscle or the fat kind of takes shape and all of that. Um, and then obviously we're going to have the other bone. So I'll just do a slightly different color on this. So this is going to be the one from behind. So this is the one that's going straight up into the leg. Again, I'm just kind of, just to break down a different color for you guys. So you're going to see part of that in here. So some of that kind of comes through a little bit. Um, and that's what you got to kind of keep in mind when we're thinking about um, how we're breaking down this leg. The other thing that we have to keep in mind is that we do have, okay, so we all just, I'll cover it real quick too with the, with the muscles of the, of the leg. So remember we have the big teardrop one. This is going to kind of how it works. So we have that, we have the, the, the middle one, and then we have the one on the side. And remember, it goes kind of in this shape. So if this is the left leg, uh, that's the angle of it. So the teardrop is going to be closest to the kneecap. But the thing we do have to keep in mind here is when drawing the knees, we also have the tendons. So, uh, where's my brush? There we go. So this muscle usually there's a tendon that goes over the kneecap. So this all pulls and that's why it's all smooth here. This is kind of, you know, pretty much what it looks like. And then it goes, it goes over and into the shin. So we have tendons and stuff that, that cover all of that. But because of the shape of the kneecap, you're going to be seeing more of a structure. So I'm going to erase this a little bit so you guys can see. But yeah, we we have like like a like a thin, and we got this thin piece that connects from that muscle, and goes straight over the kneecap, and down into the shin. You know, um, and that's why a lot of people could get confused with all of this. So, again, if you fuse the kneecap, this is kind of the motion. And this is what it does. It goes that tendon goes over. Remember, the tendons are very flat and thin. It's just that connecting tissue, but um, yeah, I, I'm trying 
trying to think of another way to explain it, but I think this covers it pretty well. So, um, and then, yeah, like I said, uh, th there's a lot that kind of goes on, but what we have to think about is, again, the, the, the bone that's underneath and what you're going to be getting. So, um, yeah, if we take all that off, you can see a little bit. So that's why normally when I'm working and I'm doing colors and stuff along those lines, um, what I, what I tend to do is, uh, I play with lighting and shadow. So if I take this off, let me, oh, I got a drawing there. Um, let me get a new layer out. So typically what I would do, and again, I'm, I'm working in a different program than I normally use, but, um, and let me just grab a lighter color. I am thinking about like if there's a light source kind of coming from this from this direction if it's right on top like we're gonna get a lot of light hitting here so this is gonna go a little bit more flat thinking about a little bit that's touching that bone here but it's going to be mostly that kneecap is what we're going to be seeing. And that bone that protrudes from the knee. So you're gonna get you're gonna get some of this kind of stuff happening, but it picks up different stuff than the other tendons, and then the muscles that it goes into. So I'm thinking in terms of all that kind of stuff. So for the person who is asking about how to draw knees, I hope this clarifies some of it for you. And what you should be thinking about when it comes to the, you know, um, to doing all of this. Let me do another quick way. I have a little hit. So let's say that it's coming sort of from that direction. Here's the muscles. Shin bone really pops out, so you see it a lot. Let's see some of the calf here. But again, that's kind of what we're thinking about. And then that, uh, those tendons too, and other parts of the leg, but you know, then it gets into other stuff, but uh, more or less, I mean, that's what we're thinking about. So yeah, this, this example is a right leg. Uh, these are left legs here. And then we have obviously, you know, the, the bent knee. So I do hope that this helps a lot. Um, let me see another quick example I could do. If we're thinking about the, the knee, let's say, If we take it from, let's say we have a bent leg, and this is going to be a right leg, and from the inside, what we'll think about Again, I'm just trying to 
break down something a little bit more simple for you guys. Okay, so this is somebody just squatting down. I'm going to erase this just a little bit and I'll show you kind of um, what the bones and whatnot would look like underneath it. So let me grab yet another color. If the patella is here, and we're going to be thinking about that kind of leg bone. That goes into the body. And then it's obviously going to get into the pelvis area here. But, again, what we're thinking about is how this all works. So you have the shin bone that kind of it's in this shape in this pattern and it goes down then you, I mean, on the other side, you'll see the the small. There's two bones in that in that leg, but the bigger one, and the main one that's making up the shape of that knee, or that some of the structure of the knee, uh, is what we're we're thinking about at the moment. So let me just fill this in a little bit more. Up here, so this is kind of what we're thinking about. That kind of hinge part, the kneecap. So that's what kind of pretty much makes it up. Um, and, and like I said, like we're gonna have the, the tendons and stuff that that go straight up and into the muscle and the muscular parts of the leg. I remember since we are kind of this person is squatting at the moment, um, yeah, the muscles are gonna be squished in a certain way too. But again, like this is kind of more of the breakdown of the structure of uh, our our main the main subject of today, which is the knee and how it all kind of works. So that's why you have this kind of unique shape. Like I said, the, we'll do a side view as well. So this is the upper bone. It has like this kind of hinge shape. The lower bone, which is again kind of and this almost triangle-like shape. 
you know, and then it goes down to the rest of the leg, and then we'll, and then we have the kneecap, which floats above it. So this is kind of what we're thinking about. Just obviously, like the kneecap would be a little bit more on top. So yeah, we would just we would, we would move it just a little bit closer to the leg. I just pulled it out a bit so you kind of see how it works. But that's more or less what we're thinking about and how this all kind of works. So there you go, guys. That's how we draw a human knee. Um, yeah. So everybody, remember, uh, please to continue to support my, uh, my comic book, Shadow of the Kraken. I am the sole creator on this, writer, artist, um, colorist, you name it, letter. Um, and this, this is available on Indiegogo. I am uh, going to put a link in the description as always. Um, and yeah, uh, this week I'll, I'll do some more live streaming as well. And maybe we'll do uh, a couple more master classes. Uh, I got to figure it out because I am currently working on this and doing some freelance work as well. So yeah, I I, am, I do hope that all these videos help you guys um, learn a lot more about the process of uh, well at least the subject right now has been anatomy. I'll eventually break down into other stuff too, uh, storytelling, perspective, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know that's that's kind of the goal. So yeah, if you like it, please. Um, hit like, uh, subscribe, let more people know about this channel and what I've been doing with it. Uh, some of the other cool things that you can see on here, just, um, deep dive in, into my, uh, you know, my, my library of videos. Uh, you'll see, I did a couple celebrity interviews as well, spotlighted some other really awesome creators. Um, yeah, I'm always kind of changing it up and, uh, you know, if, if there's something interesting and, and I can get a good guest, I'll, I'll get them on as well. But I'm also showcasing uh, other fantastic creators who are in the indie scene. So, uh, yeah. Uh, again, I hope you enjoy all my content. Uh, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss any videos. And like I said, uh, please uh, leave comments. Hit like. It, it helps the channel tremendously. Uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty great. I'm getting closer uh, to getting uh, monetized, which would be really fantastic, especially for those live streams. Um, so yeah, get the word out and thank you again, everyone. Remember, be kind to one another, but kick ass while you create. Bye.